Alright guys, Bruce Frisky from um, YouTube, he made a comment um, on my latest video which was the uh, 17th batch um, the butterfly effect and um, he basically said hey why haven't I done a video I don't think he said why haven't I, I think he just asked if I had done a video on uh, the uh, real Sark Enigma ale so uh, I'm going to do a quick video of it now alright I have just drunken one. As you can see, there's a bit of lacing still in there, but I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a glass. Alright, see that there? Alright. Probably can't see the clarity as much. I don't have the best lighting in here. You guys saw in my last video how clear it was. I'm just going to pop it down here. Right. Now. Okay. So, here it is. The real Sark Enigma. Okay. Lots of frosting on the outside there. Um... You guys can see my hands, yeah. So, that colour basically comes from the Cooper's Real Ale kit. Now, I'll tell you what was in it, okay? Um, it is basically a... Uh, it was a uh, boil done with... A uh, five litre boil, okay? Done with a half of a Brew Enhancer 2 and 500 grams of light dry malt extract, Okay? Um, and at the 15 minute mark, I added 15 grams of SARS, okay, 10 minute mark was 15 grams of Cascade, and the 5 minute mark was 15 grams of Enigma, and it was a 20 litre batch. So after the hop schedule boil had uh, finished, I added the rest of the Brew Enhancer too, so half of the rest of the packet. Um, and uh, I also then uh, put in the Cooper's Real Ale kit. Um, oh, by the way, at the 15 minute mark, along with the um, Cascade, I also put a Wolflock tablet in there as well. So there you go, that's pretty much it. Um, the smell definitely has a slight spicy hint to it, which definitely comes from the SARS. You can definitely smell the Cascade, um, but on the back end, as you as you drink it, you're getting the Enigma um, hops as well. So cheers. Reason why I love it is um, because I think it utilizes the hops really, really well. Um, and also the Real Ale kit. Any of you guys out there that have used the Cooper's Real Ale kit will know what I'm talking about. Real Ale kit has some gorgeous color, gorgeous color. But it also has a slight hint of residual sweetness. And sometimes, this is only my opinion, if you have some really nice flavour aroma hops, if the malt's still a little bit sweet, like when I say little, I'm not talking sickly, I'm just talking about residual sweetness, um, it can really accentuate the flavour part of a hop. Um, I'm not sure if you guys would agree with me, but this is only my interpretation of what I'm experiencing with my brewing setup and all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that that was pretty much uh, the uh, the real Sark Enigma, and obviously, as you can see, um, the name uh, was just having a bit of fun because I tried to, you know, anyone who knows me, I try and come up with funny names for most or ninety eight percent of my beers, and uh, you know, thought I'd throw in the Sars. Cascade and Enigma and as you can see in the name they go in the same succession so you've got first was the SARS second was Cascade then Enigma so I just thought I'd be a little bit fun there so it was 5.2% uh, great little beer um, it cleared out nicely at first it was taking a while to clear but then uh, yeah I just gave it some time and patience and uh, yeah look that's pretty much it guys so thank you Bruce Frisky I think it's frisky um, for making that comment. Um, I will try and upload this soon. Um, I appreciate the interest in the beer. It is a great beer. And obviously, as I've said before, I'm just going to have a vape. Hold on a sec.
as I've said before, the reason why I was going to do a video based just off of this was just to celebrate how easy it can be. Guys, I've got nothing against all graining, nothing against mini mashing. I've done heaps of mini mashes. Um, haven't done an all grain yet, but um, I guess one day I might. Um, but, you know, five or six or seven litres of water, all right, 15 minute boil with something like a brew enhancer too, or all, or if you want to do an all malt, whatever. If you've got some malt there, you've got a kit, and you've got some of your favourite flavour aroma hops, you know, <clears throat> without a doubt, you can make some of the best tasting craft home brew you'll ever make just with, you know, a few ingredients. You know, Coopers or Morgans, whatever kit you want to use. You've got a kit, you've got a brew enhancer, you've got 500 grams of light drum on extract, you got some flavour aroma hops, and reuse yeast is what I use, but you can use whatever yeast you want. And the other most important fact, I think, is to only brew it to 20 litres. Uh, that way you're getting more complexity and you're not watering it down and you are getting a five this is a 5.2 percent or a 5.3 percent beer which is a nice full strength beer so easy to make and uh, I, I believe personally that that deserves to be celebrated now people might go well that's not a good beer or whatever but you know what you got to brew your own way, and if you like the kind of beers that you brew, then no one can tell you any different, um, because it's about your own personal tastes. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes I refrain from putting <clears throat> recipes online and stuff like that, just because I think people, might, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe people think it's too simple, but um, I've been brewing for a few years now, and um, I've tried, I've had all grain sent to me, I've tried mini mashes, I've done mini mashes myself, um, and I've had some amazing feedback with regards to some of my uh, brews um, and uh, at the end of the day the feedback that matters most if you're going to be the one sticking it in your keg and drinking it it's got to be yourself so feel free maybe in the comments section down below if you want to see the recipe on the 17 brew crew let me know and I'll put it on there and you guys can try it for yourself okay um, thank you so much Bruce Frisky, um, I keep thinking Bruce Springsteen when I say that anyway, <laughs> um, he's a great artist, um, yeah, so if you want to see it, let me know down below, just say if you want the recipe and I'll do my best to uh, punch it up on the 17 Broker and you guys can try it for yourself, but anyway, 17, and there you go, the real Sark Enigma, and as I said before, this was brewed with my reused uh, USO5 yeast and as you now know if you've seen my previous video it's been 17 times 17 times I've reused that yeast and I have no doubt that I'm going to be able to go for a long time with that yeast uh, almost indefinitely as long as there is no infections and as long as my sanitization is down pat and I am absolutely flapping my gums so I will see you later CZ out thanks again